Hey guys, I'm doing a co-ed hall residence tour, more or less showing you where I have been in co-ed. And recently I stayed on the second floor, which is this room right here. And it's a double, which means that there's two beds and two of the sets of furniture. Um, it was pretty interesting being on the second floor since naturally I'm on the eighth floor. So uh, here on the second floor, there was two hooks. One is on the left. One is on the right, but it's like that for most of the rooms anyways. Um, it comes with two different dressers. So there's one for the you know person on the left side, one for the person on the right side. There's also a little cabinet underneath the desk, and here's the closet, which isn't that um, interesting in my opinion. The door was actually broken for me, so it's kind of weird. Uh, that's the back of the door, and that's the desk. Um, I don't really like the desk. I don't really like the furniture, but you get used to it. Chairs are really hard though. So here's the view I had on the second floor. Um, I was actually in the back side, so the the further back part of the hall. I don't know how to explain it, but right back there is actually the uh, studio for Wendy Williams and Rachel Ray. So here's the dresser. Um, it's not that special. It's just just the dresser. There's four of them though. And here's the drawer that you have under your desk. This is the smaller one, and there's, there's a deeper one underneath that. Now, here we have the back of the door. Gives you a bunch of info. And I personally went up to 810, which is my friend's dorm. This is on the 8th floor, so it's a little different scenery. Um, most of them are kind of similar. It's uh, styled rooms or sizes. And here's 815, which was my room with uh, me and my roommate. And it's different now because it's summer, so they're trying to fix it up. But uh, same style, you know, room size. It varies a little bit, but not much. Two beds, two drawers, two desks, all that jazz. Missed this room. I think they were painting it when I went there. It was kind of interesting to see. But yeah, there's a thermostat also. It's automatic though, which sucks. So there's triples also in co-ed, and this is a triple. It's uh, three people in one bedroom. And this one was actually debunked, and you'll understand what I mean by debunked. But there's three parts of a closet, which I think is weird to say. There's three different sides of a closet. Yeah, and it's uh, pretty nice. Um, this is also on the 8th floor, so I had a very similar view to this one. This uh, room was three doors down from my room, 815. And the view is cute, and the room is cute, and I just love co-ed in general. Now here's the other um, triple. So there's elevators and on each side of the elevator there's a triple. So there's only two triples per floor and it had the same, you know, three desks, three drawers. And here is the bunk, which is um, what the other triple was lacking actually. And this one had a mirror in it for some reason. I don't understand why, but I might as well just go with it. And they have a hallway. Uh, here's the bathroom rules that most of the bathrooms have. Now, uh, here at FIT, we're more uh, inclusive in terms of, uh, well, actually, I don't know, in terms of anything, really. We're just inclusive. So we have a bathroom policy, which you should pause and read. And here's a woman's restroom, quote-unquote woman's restroom, because technically uh, you can really go into it if you identify with any um, gender or sexuality and things like that. So here's the second floor bathroom. I decided to show you guys first. It's automatic, the lights, which I really think is interesting. But um, this bathroom is completely renovated. The first floor, second floor, and third floor have bathrooms like this. Um, it's kind of pretty. It looks like a hotel in my opinion. But I really, really enjoy it. The button didn't work here. I try to click it. But they're, uh, what's it called, motion censored? So they have like a little bench for you to put your stuff at, your, I don't know, whatever you want to bring to the bathroom. And it's two parts. So there's the front part of the bathroom and then there's the actual shower part. And the shower is there, you can put your soap there, and the little knob, and that's where the drain goes. And here's what the bathroom stalls look like. I think they're pretty interesting. Uh, I'll show you what the other bathroom stalls look like, but they're also motion censored, which is nice. And this is everyone's favorite stall next to the air conditioning and window. You'll figure that out. We have a tub room though at co-ed, which is not on the first, second, or third floor, I believe. But um, this is the one on the eighth floor. Uh, it's disgusting. I don't recommend it, but you're going to see a lot of people using it. I don't know why. I can't tell you why. Same thing. Here's the 
eighth floor bathroom and this is what I'm saying it's a little different than the second floor uh, there is no bench actually it's just straight into the shower and a part to like change and uh, the shower is not nice it's kind of gross yeah and the knob is weird it's all really dated um disgusting and you use shower shoes but then again you use shower shoes for everything here's the mirror you have which i think is really nice it's really long and bright and those are what the stalls look like so it's kind of dated now on each floor to the right of the hallways you have the trash compartment i don't know whatever you call it trash room and in new york city by law we are supposed to recycle so you have your two recycling bins and it tells you how to and then uh, I guess it's up to your RA to make these little, you know, uh, reminders. But you have, um, what is it called? Like a little pouch, basically. You throw your garbage in that and you let it go. And here's an RA. Oh, actually, this is my RA's room. It's the eighth floor. Uh, shout out to RA Patricia. But it's a double, it's a double sized room. But since it's for an RA, they only put one set of furniture in it since they get their own room, basically, which is pretty nice as an RA. But here's her view, which is probably going to be most of everyone's view as well. It's a view of 27th Street, which is our school, and the Empire State Building. Now, uh, basically, to wrap it all up, here's what a normal hall will look like. Yeah, we're dated with those old phones. I love Coed Hall. I know some people don't, but I hope to see you there. Bye!